What's up guys, Spinfire Arms here, and today I'm going to be eating my own words, um, and it is what it is. Sometimes with handguns and shooting at the range and training, um, also doing more research, um, watching ballistics tests, stuff like that, sometimes your mind changes on calibers, handguns themselves. For instance, the Glock 43X, I wasn't the biggest fan, but over time I've grown to love the 43X, and I think is one of my favorite handguns as of today. It used to not be that way, it's just the overall ergonomics of it, shootability, regardless of capacity that people have an issue with, it's actually been a great handgun for me. So I've started to fall in love with the 43X. And before we get started, hit the like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. Now, the Glock 29. This is actually chambered in 10mm, right, which is a beast of a round. Most people use 10mm for the woods, um, bear defense, stuff like that. And especially in the Glock 20 and Glock 29 setups, you can run that 15 round mag, making it 16 rounds of 10 millimeter out of an ultra reliable um, platform. Now this Glock 29 that we're talking about right here is the SF version. Now what is the SF version? It stands for short frame. It's basically Glock said they're making a Glock 29 and they have a Glock 30 SF. They also have a Glock 30 S, which would be sort of nice if they made a Glock 29 S. I don't know if that's possible with, um, you know, the rounds and the power and stuff like that but that'd be absolutely awesome but anyways basically they made it a little bit thinner shorter and therefore you can conceal it a little bit better it's overall a more concealable package according to Glock now I like it because it fits my hand a little bit better as it's more similar in size to a Glock 26 frame if you take a look at that and honestly I really like how it kicks out right here and fills that palm swell I mean it literally sits perfectly in your hand and I do like the Glock 26 and I do like the Glock 19 ergonomics overall, but I don't think I've had a Glock that fills this palm swell really well like a Glock should be, you know, handled basically. So it feels really good and really natural in the hand. Now, this setup right here is 11 plus 1, and this is something that I would carry. I would also carry with the flush mag um, if I were to conceal carry. And you have plenty capacity considering you have 10 millimeter. Anyways, I made a video talking about it as this is my woods defense. This is when I go shooting in the woods by myself. I carry this with a 15 round mag in it, 16 rounds of 10 millimeter, 200 grain hard cast. I'm good to go. This is my woods carry and I'm completely confident with it because I've shot over a thousand rounds with this. Not a single issue, not a single hiccup. And when I made the video, I wasn't the most experienced with 10 millimeter to be honest. And I was used to shooting a lot of 40, but 10 millimeter is a decent jump up when it comes to recoil power you know muzzle flip stuff like that it really is a beast round if you want to see a video i have plenty of them up where i shoot nine millimeter i shoot 40 357 sig 45 gap and 10 millimeter all in a row and when you're shooting this 10 millimeter compared to the other subcompacts that i was shooting them out of you really see the power you hear the power and that's why 10 millimeter is basically no joke but it's been an absolutely great handgun i'm not going to lie to you guys up front, it's not the most ergonomic, like when you're holding this handgun. I think the Gen 5 Glock 29 is going to be more ergonomic than these. I like the finger grooves on the subcompacts and the compacts. These, it sort of feels weird for me, but it's still a very manageable grip. And I might actually get some Talon Pro grips or handle it Elite Series grips for this handgun because um, that would honestly make a lot of sense, and I do that with a lot of other guns. Now, like I said, this was just a woods carry firearm for me. I had a Mariglow, um ghost ring night sights if you remember that on here and then a lot of people gave me crap and then i realized you know what i shoot this thing really well i might actually start carrying it and so i swapped out to some excess big dot three dot sights and it's a perfect sight picture i mean super accurate ready to go as you can see i got the 10 millimeter back plate from bastion and honestly right here is an awesome setup what's nice about this other than the subcompacts the glock 30 and the glock 29 come with a rail the 26, the 27, the 28, the 33, and the 39 do not come with a rail. So you do have that option on the 29. So this can be a complete carry where you're not going as big as a com compact firearm, right? This is a 3.8 inch barrel and is a little bit shorter than a Glock 19. It's bigger than a Glock 26, but shorter than a Glock 19. This way, it is longer than a Glock 26, but shorter than a Glock 19. And width, it is wider than Glock 19 or Glock 26 and all the other variants in the different calibers that are in those size um, ranges. But overall, this handgun is very concealable. You can still carry this. It's a little bit heavier than your average carry gun. I'd compare it to like carrying something like an XD. Um, XDs, even the subcompacts, tend to be a little bit heavier, but you can still manage it. If you have the right gear, 
the right holster, the right belt. Like for instance, I get holsters from Vetter and you can conceal carry handguns that are as big as this, as heavy as this, very easily. Blacksmith Tactical, same thing. The V2 holster, I can carry my Glock 29 in gym shorts, sweatpants, whatever the case may be, and they conceal just fine. I've actually been doing that this winter. And like I said, I made a video where I need to eat my words. The Glock 29 is a handgun that is awesome for concealed carry. And the reason is the way things are going right now, people are being attacked in, you know, groups. You know, there's two people or three people or four people. It's no longer just, you know, one guy tries to rob you or one guy tries to beat the crap out of you out of nowhere. You have a psycho run up into a place, right? Nowadays, they travel in groups and they attack all at once. And it's very hard to defend yourself against multiple attackers, especially if they come from different sides of you, stuff like that. If they corner you, if they have the jump on you, all of that. Having a Glock 29 with... 10 millimeter power is exactly what you need for those situations. 9 millimeter, 40, 357 SIG. 357 SIG being the best out of all those still sometimes takes multiple shots. In my opinion, a Glock 29 is that one round that can basically stop anything or anyone with one shot that's coming at you. The Glock 29 is an absolute beast of a handgun. What I really like about the 29 is it's so small that you can still conceal carry. A Glock 20 is a bit hard to carry um, daily everywhere you go stuff like that but a glock 29 that can still take that glock 20 mag as a backup but you can still run it flush or whatever you want to do for concealability you still have a decent capacity with a round that's going to be a one shot stopper check out some ballistics check out az air gunner he's got an awesome channel he does ballistic testing i mean 10 millimeter can just not be outperformed and i know a lot of people want to go with nine millimeter and stuff like that and i carry a lot of nine millimeter i carry 40 357 i carry a little bit of everything but the Glock 29, with the way the world's going, the way things are happening, the way the news reports on stuff, I just feel like the Glock 29 is just one of those handguns that isn't, you know, represented by a lot of people, but it definitely should be as one of the most versatile handguns. Considering you can defend yourself against anything in all of North America with a Glock 29. This one handgun right here. And it's small as can be when it comes to other 10 millimeters. Oh, it's thinner, stuff like that. The XDM, I would say, is a very comparable option. There's some other good options out there, but the Glock 29 is just one of those 10 millimeters. You don't hear about having problems. You have Glock reliability. You have a better overall Glock trigger than some of the other handguns that are Gen 3s and stuff like that. Um, the Glock 43X and the Slimline tend to have the best triggers from Glock, but what I've noticed is these are definitely better than the 26 and the 27, the 33, the 19, the 23, and so on. The Glock 30 and Glock 29 both have great triggers, and I'm glad I went with the SF and the 29 simply for more concealability but i can still run those big mags if i want has a rail awesome sights this thing is good to go and what's nice is having a glock 30 and a 29 interchangeable holsters of course so you need one holster for two guns it's just another benefit of the glock system and the way they build handguns being the exact same handgun with different calibers so overall i love the glock 29 i am eating my words this is something that's now my carry rotation and you know nothing specific happened but just from getting to shoot it and learning the handgun and shooting it really well and it's proven itself over a long time now. Um, and just seeing everything that we see nowadays, hear about and so on, Glock 29 just seems to be a equalizer for everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I'm a little bit sick. Thanks for watching.